Hi guys! Okay, so we are continuing our journey down the rainbow today with an orange speed build. Let's just jump right into it. If you didn't know and you're new here, I'm working my way down the rainbow. The Sims 4 has these filters where you can filter by like styles and stuff, but I'm filtering by color. We call this chaos mode because the Sims 4 doesn't actually tag everything correctly. So I know there's more orange stuff in the game, but if it's not in the sort, then I won't use it. If there's not an item that I need, say like there's not like a toilet that's orange, I just don't use it. Very challenging build to do, but it's also really fun if you guys want to try it out. But you know, so far on our way down the rainbow, we have yet to like find something that like I couldn't work with. Like there hasn't been like no sinks or something important. The next build though, yellow, I did take a little peek in and there are no foundations. So we're going to have to build a foundationless house. So if you guys are excited for that, just hit the subscribe button. This house is going to have just a one bedroom, one bath, kind of tiny home. Um, I, I don't, I didn't build it as a tiny home. It might qualify as like um, a small home or um, a tiny home, probably a small home. It has, when you walk in a living area, then you go into that big side room and it's kind of like a kitchen dining. That little small room is going to be a bathroom and then that like room that I just put the lights in is going to be a bedroom with a built-in closet. There's the built-in closet. So I really like how this one turned out, um, especially because of how bad the red build was. Like I was able to do so much cool stuff with this build and it was like really just in my ballpark, in my style that I really like to build in. There's lots of like bright colors, you know, orange is like such a bright color. Used some blue to kind of break it up. I love how the space turned out so much. So what I usually do when I build stuff like this is I just put windows on the front of the house so I know like how it's going to look and then like everything else um, I just put down the furniture and then put windows around where I want the furniture to be which is kind of backwards, but that's just how I work. So with those snowy escape um, counters, I don't know if you guys knew this, but how they have like the shelving at the bottom and you can slot stuff in. You can actually slot stuff in like um, the pitcher from backyard stuff or um, what's it, spot A. And you can actually like, you know, drag it out in live mode and make your sim some like lemonade and then slot it back in for storage. And I think that's like so cool. And I wish we had got more like stuff like that with like tiny home, you know, cause that's so, it's like such a useful thing. Like, cause that's exactly what I would do in real life. Oh, I need, you know, lemonade right now, take out the thing, make it, and then put it back instead of just having it on the counter 24 seven. You feel me? So we're just working on the bathroom right now. Um, that is a very big window for a bathroom. I am aware, but I wanted a window there. Like the front of the house rule we were talking about. We're just going to put a really big, you know, curtain right there, cover everything up. I think all the space looked so good. Like, everything about this looks so good. I'm so happy of, like, just how this turned out. Um, we even have a backyard, I'm pretty sure, on this build, which I'm so excited about because we had enough stuff to have a backyard, too. So there's the back door. It has a little back patio and it also has like a fence. It's not completely fenced in because I didn't really like our gate options. You have like a little like pseudo kind of like fenced in, kind of separate my land from the neighbor's land type of thing. Um, I want to think about what I put out there. I know there's a pool and there's a tree. <laughs> what else do you really need? Pool and a tree. <laughs> It looks a lot nicer than I promise. Just, just keep watching for a minute, please. But I'm putting um, those little wall things on the windows. I think they're adorable. I don't know if you guys can tell, I also have stuff like that on my windows. I also have a curtain though to like block out light. I don't know, I like the ambiance of light curtains, but I don't like how curtains like block light. So I have sheer curtains myself. I'm just throwing in decorations and stuff. So how I work when I play The Sims is I see an item, I throw it down, and then I'm like, okay, wait, it just reminded me of like seven other items that I want to put in. Also, you see, I did, oh, there's Bob Pancakes! Ah! Little Bob Pancakes, little Funko Pop. We're going to put in some wall paintings and stuff. Um, I really kind of struggled with like putting in like 
nice things into this space, but I think it turned out really good. Kind of basic, but what, what can you do? I put a cool like mural in here in this bedroom. Look at that. I just sized it down a bunch. I've never used that before because it's absolutely massive, but I think that turned out really good. I'm also really proud of the landscaping of this build. Um, sometimes when you do like sorts like this, it's like, oh yeah, there's like no flowers or like nothing that could really match. But no, this had a lot of options for us, except for trash cans. That was our only trash can out there. This is one of the times I'm glad I have a bunch of packs because I'm like, what if I just had base game? I would have nothing to put in this house. The red house just would have been empty half the time. Like I wouldn't have had a toilet because I had to use the vampires like toilet. So I'm so glad that, you know, I have bought into EA's trap and bought a bunch of the DLC for this game. But there's our little pseudo fence. There we go. And then we're going to put in a pool too. And just more like decorations, flowers, all that jazz. I'm ecstatic about how this turned out because it looks so good. Like if you guys didn't see the red build, I'll put a card right about here, like up there right now where you can check that out. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And uh, spoiler alert guys. The yellow build, no, I, I don't like it either. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. This is peak right here. This is like peak what we can do. I'm feeling like maybe blue would is also gonna be easy for me and probably like pink, but like everything else, oh no. Like green, just there's nothing in green. I already looked, it's gonna be so bad guys. And if you guys are excited to see it, just hit that subscribe button. And we're just finishing up the build right now, just throwing in some bird feeders. Those bird feeders are so cute because um, in live mode, birds will actually come out and, you know, like fly around them. I think it's adorable. So we're just putting the finishing touches on it. Those are like my last little flowers, I'm pretty sure. And some terrain paint. Okay. And then I'm just going to jump into it really quick and show y'all. <laughs> Okay, and I just uh, plopped it over here. That's where I built it in Pebble Burrow. And um, we're just going to jump into it. Okay, and here we are. And I'm really liking how everything turned out on this build. Like how all the landscaping looks and everything and how the porch looks. I wish we could change the ceiling colors so I don't see all that white, but it's fine. Let's look at the backyard. Also just... Uh, it, it turned out so well, like with all of the landscaping and everything, it's pretty basic, but like, I feel like the lighter colors and like how it's in the desert contrast with like the brighter oranges and the greens makes it look so good. Okay, now let's look inside real quick. And here's the living room. I'm really just loving how like the blues make everything pop. The dining room, let me figure out how we're going to show this. Maybe top down. Here's the dining room. Very nice, very simple and basic. Same thing with this bathroom right here. And then here's the bedroom. And that's the build. Here's the floor plan. And if you like this, if you like the build, if you like the video, because I really did try to up the quality of everything, leave a like. Maybe leave a comment if you have any suggestions for anything. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.